Hey, how's it going guys? Captain Cuba here and welcome to another God of War video. More specifically, a video about God of War Ragnarok's COD content. Now, believe it or not, I was actually thinking of uploading a similar video in the coming weeks about mythological characters that have been cut from the God of War series. And as much as I want to share that list with you, I thought the topic of today's video was more time sensitive. Two days ago, we received the sad news that Raf Krasetti, the art director of God of War Ragnarok, had said goodbye to his fellow developers one last time, as he would be pursuing other projects. Projects that he will announce in the coming weeks. I'm really happy for him, but I can't lie that I'm a little sad. As you guys know, I had some criticism with the art direction of God of War 2018, but when Raf got a hold of it in God of War Ragnarok, things definitely changed for the better, and I'm sure I'm not the only one who's gonna miss him. But with all that mushy speech out of the way, let's tackle today's topic. Possible cut content from God of War Ragnarok, or even better, cut content from the original sequel of God of War 2018. This is a topic I've been obsessed with ever since I finished my first playthrough of God of War Ragnarok. Because even though Ragnarok was a good game, I could tell that a lot of things were either cut or rushed for the sake of pacing. And it turns out that Santa Monica might have accidentally given us a glimpse of this game with Raf's tweet a couple of days ago. In the last tweet, we see many character concept arts behind Raph. Some of them like Odin we've seen before. But there are others that we haven't seen before, like the one with Tyr's costume, which looks similar to Kratos' general armor. But this isn't the new concept art I want you to focus on. On the top row, you will see a character that we have never met. A mysterious hooded woman holding what looks to be a wooden horn. Alright, time out. I know the word horn is like a dog whistle for us God of War fans. Just to be clear, I don't think this horn has anything to do with the horn we hear in God of War 2018, simply because the horn in that scene is glued to Tyr's bridge. Now, much like the word horn is a dog whistle for us God of War fans, the phrase hooded woman is also a dog whistle, although a much less known one. Soon after God of War 2018 released, a novel about the very same game was released. In it, you can read about a nightmare Kratos had. In this nightmare, as Kratos wanders the earth, he comes across three wolves. As expected, one of these wolves lunges at Kratos and reveals a woman clad in a long cloak and cowl, obscuring much of her face. Now, it's important for me to say that this wasn't just a dream. Later in the novel, Kratos confirms that this was a memory. A memory of how a giant wolf dragged him to the Norse lands. Fans have naturally proposed many theories about this woman's identity. Maybe it was Athena, or Freya, or even most likely, Faye herself. I and many fans were hoping we could get an answer to this mystery in God of War Ragnarok, as we all thought that time travel would play a role of some kind in this story. But because the Norse saga was completed in two games instead of three, it's possible that a lot of content was cut from the final game. Maybe this image of a hooded woman is all that remains of this character. Now, it's also possible that this character isn't the hooded woman from the novel. This character could also be Hel. Not the realm, but Loki's daughter in the mythology. Now, I know what you're going to say. Cuba, Hell isn't a woman. Hell is the giant bird we find in Helheim. And while that's true, I want to point you in the direction of Mr. Midgard Chronicler's video about Hell. When you're racing with Angrobota, you will find a pendant belonging to a giant that has been dead for a long time. At the bottom of it, you can find a fox and a wolf. These are obviously Atreus and Angrobota. Above them, you will find the giant wolf, which of course is Fenrir. And on the right side, you will find the giant snake, which obviously is a depiction of Jörmungandr. But, who's the woman above them? Well, fans have naturally deduced that this woman is Loki and Angrobota's child, Hell. This Hell is completely absent from the game. Some fans have theorized that this is a hint to where Santa Monica sees Atreus and Angrobota's story going next, which somehow involves giving birth to Hell. I'm not the biggest fan of this theory, because what's the point? Santa Monica's already moving away from the Norse pantheon. What would be the point of giving birth to Hell in Egypt? There's also some hints in God of War Ragnarok itself that either Mimir or Hildesvini will become the next ruler of Hell. Which means, this Hell wouldn't have a throne to sit. If you want to know more about this topic, you can watch this video. But anyway, if this isn't a hint of things to come, then what is it then? Well, again I go back to the whole thing of this being a cut character from the original sequel. So it's possible that this is how Hell would have looked like if she ever made it into the final game. These of course are the most exciting theories, as they would confirm that there was definitely going to be some time travel shenanigans in the original story. But I find it hard to believe that Santa Monica would have overlooked this detail when taking Raph's picture. They know their fans scour every inch of their posts looking for clues on what's to come, or in this case, what could have been. So it's possible that this image was an early take on one of the Norns. In the official art book, we can find one of them wearing a hood that resembles this image, however slightly. I also asked a long-time God of War friend what he thought of it, 
and he proposed a theory that this could have been an early design for the Raven Keeper. Maybe they scrapped the whole concept and settled with the design of the Revenant so as to save money or even time. So what do you think? Could this character have been an early design for one of the Norns or even the Raven Keeper? Or could this have been a very important character that was cut from the final game? Whatever your thoughts and theories are, make sure to leave them in the comments section below. I know this video is shorter than my usual ones, but I thought this would be something you would find interesting. Also, I haven't had much time to work on this week's video, so this is all you're getting. But anyway, I want to give a big thanks to all of my members for supporting the channel monthly. You guys are awesome and I can't thank you enough. Also, a quick reminder to all of my members. As you guys know, this Wednesday we're going to get the new PlayStation Showcase. If you're a member of this channel, remember that I'll be hosting a pre-show to the showcase where you'll be able to discuss any gaming topic with me live. Yes, that's right, everyone will hear your beautiful voice. All you have to do is join my Discord server. And if you're not a member, what are you waiting for? Click that join button and start supporting my Red Bull addiction. But if you can't, that's totally fine. You can help support the channel in other ways, such as hitting the like button and sharing my videos. And with that said, thanks for watching. And remember, go forth in the name of Olympus.